Hey guys, it's Leanne. Welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new here and if you're not new then of course welcome back and thank you so much for returning. Today's video is just focused on the eyes. As you can see I'm currently wearing a khaki olivey green smoky eye. So if you would like to see how to achieve this blown out smoky eye then please keep on watching. Before we jump in I'm just going to remind everyone to please show your support by liking this video and leaving some feedback below even if it's just a nice comment or if there's any questions you would like to ask about the products or even if you wanted to leave suggestions for future videos i always take into consideration what my subscribers comment down below so i'll always reply and i'll always try and get stuff done that people ask for as in tutorials or products also please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss an upload from me as I do upload every week now. So yeah, if you don't want to miss a tutorial from me, then please hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe and show your support. But yeah, let's just jump right in. This tutorial is also going to be one where I just do the look and then I'm going to be doing a voiceover. I just want to see what works best. Normally, I will just talk through all my tutorials as I go, but today I've decided to try something different and just do a voiceover on this tutorial. So if you like this format for the video, then please let me know. Or if you prefer me just talking to the camera just the way I am now, then also please let me know. As like I've explained, I really do value my subscribers and watchers' feedback. So yeah, just a little heads up there, guys. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going in with the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette and I'm going to be using the shade Dominatrix and Safe Words from this palette. So I'm first now going in with the Morphe M433 brush and this is just to pat down the colour. So I'm going to be going in first with the shade Dominatrix and at first I'm just patting this on the outer corners of the eye. And as you can see, I'm making sure that this colour comes above my own natural crease so that when I look forward and my eye is open, you can still actually see the brown above my own crease. That's why I'm taking it this high. As you can see, I'm doing circular motions and windscreen wiper motions. And that is just to diffuse the harsh edges, which will make it easier to blend into the other colour, which is called Safe Word, which is more the beige colour that I pointed out just before. So, yes, still just blending away just to make sure this looks nice and blended. Now the next brush I'm going in with was the Morphe M518. All brushes are listed on screen anyway. Now I'm going in with the Safe Words Shadow from the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. And as you can see, I'm just blending this up to the brow bone and I'm just taking off any harsh edges of the shade Dominatrix. These two colours really do blend so well together and the shadows are so pigmented. So I'm going back in now with the first brush and the first shade. So back in now with Dominatrix and I'm just taking that more to the inner corner. And I'm keeping this more in a circular shape. So the darker brown I'm keeping it more in a circular shape. And I'm making sure that the inner and outer corner are fully covered in that shade. So I'm just building it up again as you can see. And now I'm going back in with Safe Word and that's just to make sure that there are no harsh edges and you can't see where one colour stops and another colour starts. So circular motions as always and windscreen wiper motions. So now I'm going in with the P. Louise Badder Black Base and putting some onto my little plastic palette as that helps to reduce product waste. And I'm going in with the P. Louise Mimima Mitchell Acid Rain Paints Brush, the yellow brush this is. Now, this is a synthetic brush, which means that it won't actually soak up any liquid product. So, that's why I've chosen to use this brush. And as you can see, I'm just patting that base down onto the eyelid and I'm taking it to just in the crease and just above the crease. As you can see, I'm making sure that the eyelid is fully coated. So, now I'm going in with the Jeffree Star JS11 brush and I'm going in with a black eyeshadow. And that is just to set that base. So, as you can see, I'm just patting the black eyeshadow just on top of the P. Louise Badder Black Base and the reason I'm putting black down underneath the khaki olivey green is because adding a black or a white base really helps pigments to pop it really helps colours to stand out 
So that's why I'm going in with a black first of all in case anyone is wondering. So I'm just blending those edges away with the first brush I used and that brush has still got some of the shade Dominatrix on. So I'm blending the black into the brown now, as you can see. And again, I'm just using Windscreen Wipe Emotions and Circular Motions. Now, blending takes time, guys, so just bear with it. Even if you think it's not going to blend away, it eventually will. And I am blending very gently, as that's the case of getting a really smoky blend to be gentle. So now I am taking a bit more of the shade Dominatrix, and that, again, is to just make sure that the black blends into the brown, as you can see. So, yeah, I'm just blending over the black now because we don't want to see any harsh lines and black is obviously one of the darkest colours so we really do want to make sure that this is blended out so now i'm going back in with the code with the shade safe words not the code so yeah and now i'm just going over the edges of dominatrix just to make sure that that all ties together and it looks like there's a smooth transition so as you can tell blending is just repetitive so now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Shadow in the shade Dirty Martini and I'm using a Zoeva brush for this and I'm just going to be packing this colour on top of the black base. So as you can see that's just a really pigmented shadow, one of my favourite shadows from Makeup Geek this is. So you'll see me now just patting it down, patting it down, packing it on and just building that pigment up and that's the key to just keep pressing on top. Now you can see me blending the edges of the shade Dirty Martini with the shade Dominatrix and that is key. Any shadow that you put down, you want to make sure that you're blending it to the already to the shadows that are already put down. So again, as I've just explained, I'm just building it up, going back in with more of the shade Dirty Martini. Now I'm going back in with Safe Word and that is just to make sure that everything blends because you want this to look smooth and blown out. No harsh edges here. That's not what we're that's not what we're looking for. So yeah, blending is just repetitive, but how gorgeous is that colour? So now I'm going in with the Urban Decay eyeliner and this is in the shade Freak. So this is like a neon lime green pencil, and as you can see, I'm just putting this in the waterline. It's a very smooth pencil, I think it's like a gel consistency, but I always do set any eyeliner that goes in the waterline. So I'm going in with this shadow now and I'm not sure what brand it's from. It's one I've just picked up and added it to my own little Z palette. But yeah, I'm really sorry. I don't know what this eyeshadow is, what brand it is, what colour. I apologise. But it's just the perfect colour to go on top of the shade Freak because they're very, very similar. So as you can see, I'm just setting, I'm just setting the waterline now with that shadow. And now I'm going in with the Morphe Jeffree Star JS11, I think that brush was. And I'm taking the shade Dirty Martini again. And I'm just running that just underneath the waterline. And that's just to make sure that the bottom of the eye blends to the top of the eye. As in, what we've done to the top, we're doing to the bottom to make it all tie in well together. So as you can see, I'm just building that up. So yeah, just going back in. Now I'm going back in again with the shade Dirty Martini just to make sure that that colour is at its most full pigment and most intense because that is the look I was going for today. I wanted something really smoky but really stand out. So now you see me go back in with the shade, with the shade Safe Word and that's just again to make sure there are no harsh edges which is so important for the smoky eye. So important. So now I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Epic Ink Eyeliner and this is in the shade black. This is one of the easiest eyeliners, liquid eyeliners anyway, that I've used. So as you can see, I'm just running that as close to my lash line as possible. And I'm just taking it to where my natural eyelashes stop. So just one line. Now I'm going in with the Morphe eyelashes and this is in the shade, in the style Glambassador. And I'm taking the Duo Glue and I'm just applying the lashes, as you can see, with tweezers. But I do also use my fingers, as I feel like fingers, you can really tell if the lashes are attached to your own lashes better than with tweezers. So, yep, here I am, just pinching the lashes together. And I'm making sure 
that the inner corner and outer corner is properly stuck down as that's one of the first places to go on lashes the inner or outer corner is normally the first place so lashes on now i'm going in with the inglot 38 ss brush and i'm just dusting away some of that under eye loose baking powder which has ended up catching all the fallout from the eyeshadow now i'm going in with the zoeva 230 brush this is just a pencil brush and i'm using this to apply the mac cosmetics nylon eyeshadow to the inner corner which really opens up the eye so guys this is the finished and completed smoky eye tutorial i hope that everybody learned something i hope that you can all take some tips away from this tutorial and i hope that you actually enjoyed my video if you did please give this video a thumbs up please also turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any uploads from me and please subscribe before you leave and any comments are welcome just let's chat down below thank you for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial